What's going on, everyone? Impromptu video real fast, because I... I'm getting all the crypto alerts from all the exchanges that are like, Damn, AMP is up a whole cent. AMP's up 30%. I sold my AMP to get more T-Fuel overall. It's good. This is what I'm saying. AMP will surprise you. I'm just going to start putting shit back in AMP as shit comes. I... AMP is like my fourth on the list. I just got some FET because I'm going to sell it. The AMP, I don't want to sell. I only sold the AMP for the T-Fuel. I would never normally sell AMP. All right, but whatever. If AMP isn't part of Deepin, it should be. But anyways, so I'm using Kraken right now, so that way I can't just flip out and sell everything for Theta and take it off the exchange. So I just put like $3,000 into, into Kraken. And um, I bought AMP, uh, FET, and it's already up like f a few a few percent. So th there's money to be made right now, and all that bullshit. Um, I also I got the uh, official call. I'm starting work um, like the beginning, like not this pay period, next pay period, because paperwork is the easiest that way, right? That means I want I want to reiterate something. There is a, a, um, <sighs> like for lack of a better term, I'm already in the roster. We'll just call it that for all these jobs. So like, no matter what they're going to do to me in Korea for this crypto shit, I've, my bank's been audited harder, my background's been audited harder, my current history and all that bullshit's been audited harder. Like, whatever these Kwangya douches think they're going to do to me, like, like Uncle Sam's already, already done it to me 15 times over just to make sure, okay? That's why when it was... That's why, like, I was like, Tiffany, why you, That's why I thought Tiffany was the feds at first, because, like, no one would... No one... Like... Next to Tiffany, uh, the people who have shown the most, in, in, the people who have shown the most in, interest in me, from most to least, Amanda, Tiffany, Uncle Sam. It's the best way I can say it. Cool. Anyway, so I'm going to have income coming in end of the month. So I may not unstake that theta and sell it. I may just because I could, until the end of the month, I can make a lot of money if I was to do that. And now that I have income coming in, I can make up for it if I do anything stupid. Um, on top of that, um, look, again, the thing like going to Ukraine, I'm, fuck Ukraine. Why did I fucking even bring up Ukraine? I meant to say, I was going to say, like, I'm going to Korea, not to Ukraine. I'm going to Korea, not South Korea, not, like, not South Yugoslavia, okay? For legitimate business purposes. This is why they have an exchange. They're, they're, they have specific exchanges that specifically cater to foreigners for investment, all right? That, that's exactly what it is. So I'm going there for a legitimate reason. It's just more paperwork involved, Okay. Um, all that bullshit. Other thing I was going to say, look, you got to understand something. You don't understand. Like, if you knew the full story of the Tiffany thing, there's no way you could think any of this was my fault, any of this was my doing, or any of this was like me being the aggressor. As a matter of fact, my side of the story is so unbelievable that they triple checked it because 10 years ago when I was working in that power plant, everyone thought I was going crazy. Maybe a little bit I was because I was doing HVAC bullshit and I was just kind of sort of that hacker guy who played video games and I would talk about being like a professional video game player and all that bullshit and I would still go to Charlottesville and I would still hang out in Charlottesville and my life kind of revolved around like the power plant in Silver Spring and Charlottesville, Virginia and all that bullshit. And that stupid California chubby Puerto Rican girl showed me Girls' Generation and I was like, they are so fucking hot. 
And they were so fucking hot. I like I even bought her a bunch of shit so she would shut the fuck up. And then I had to like find a way to like ditch her. So I was like, the Mormons, the Mormons are cheating everyone. Well, they are, but like I already knew that. But like I decided to make it an issue then. But uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, anyways, because that bitch was hot. And then everyone at the power plant, they were like, something changed. They were like, you changed. They were like, you just snapped. And you started like doing like courses through the University of Bombay, India. And I started like talking about like cybersecurity certs and hacking from my phone and all this crazy offensive security shit. And I literally, allegedly, I even found, I think I already said this, how there was these people who won like the global cyber Olympics and they were like bragging, not bragging, they were like, you know, like that's what you do when you're like young and you don't realize that like there's malicious people out there. You're like, Look at all the shit that I did. And they made this, now it's called a malware packer, but back then it was brand new and they had like a website to it and I used it to do all kinds of crazy shit for the greater good. You guys are super lucky. It was me who got it and not someone else because as soon as they found out someone else was using it and reverse engineering it, they shut it down. The way I view it, have you ever seen that, I forgot what, there's like an old show where, like, there's a bunch of, like, Air Force and Army people, and the Army, like, sneak into the Air Force base and steal all their shit and build something out of it, and then they use it in, like, the thingy for the Air Force. Like, ha, ah, we beat you with your own shit. But it was just, it was just good, good old fun. You guys are lucky it was me who found it and not someone else. It's all I can say. But anyways, um... No. But then... So everyone thought I was going crazy because they were like, what's with all this K-pop shit? Like, like, y you were, and like, they were like, they were like, you don't want to do a damn thing with anyone else but K-pop and study all kinds of hacking crazy turban shit. And then, look, you don't understand, I allegedly, I stumbled upon some kind of, like, deep state operation where they were, like, selling in secrets to, like, all kinds of people because I found that malware energetic bear because I was, like, all the offensive security and cybersecurity at the University of Bombay hacking HDMI, the I ICS tutorials with Python and, and Samurai WTF and all that bullshit, which they, they turned it into Samurai... Uh, it was Samurai STFU, SCADA testing framework unit, and now it's uh, Samurai WTF web testing, web testing framework, because it's all Wonderware systems anyways. But I was like, nah, man, because, like, I was like, these sneaky bastards, they're, they're, do they're doing replay attacks. If you watch, um, uh, I think it's Star Trek 3, when they're trying to steal the Enterprise, they use a replay attack. They were doing that exact same thing, and I was like, who the fuck has access to the turbines and the PLCs in this remote ass location, they literally have like pipe. Like I'm not, I'm not supposed to say this allegedly. They have pythons in like Silver Spring, Maryland. No bull. They have like Burmese pythons in those woods. That's why I would like take machetes. I got that um, a Gladius machete because everyone was telling me I was crazy for saying the power plant could get hacked, and I was like, no bullshit. It's also when I allegedly had all those. Silk Road bullshit going on, so I thought it was Adderall, but they were giving me probably what was fentanyl. So I was like, what would they do if... I was like, what if Tiffany was over there and the Burmese pythons or between me and Tiffany and proving the power plant can get hacked? Let me pop two or three of these things, sharpen up my Gladius machete, and go through the woods at night looking for hacking and I, but I would find the Burmese pythons and these little like SD cards that should not be in the power plant that was basically giving someone access to the PLCs and all that bullshit so like I just thought those K-pop bitches were hot as shit and all that bullshit anyways long and short it turned out that the power plant could get hacked they had they had this gigantic meeting they had this gigantic meeting and they were like, I'm the 50-year-old Navy veteran who's been on five battle cruisers, and I'm here to tell you that power plants cannot get hacked. You would only be saying that if you were the ones in on the power plant being hacked, or you're just stupid. I think that one, I think that guy was just stupid. But, because he didn't understand a fucking damn thing about computers. But anyways, um... 
I, I did all that bullshit to save everyone. They were trying to fire people, and it wasn't it wasn't a boiler issue. It was a networks issue. Long and short, uh, I had to actually show how in Python you could uh, uh, recreate uh, a SCADA PLC replay attack, and then I quit. And after I quit, they like wrote me up three times and tried to complain about me, but I had already quit. So whatever the fuck. Um, and then uh, one thing led to another, and then I'm here. So anyways, look. So for the longest time, for the longest time, that was actually like a gigantic like red mark on my record. They were like, this guy broke protocol. And he thought he was smarter than everyone at the power. He thought he was smarter than a professional engineer with 40 years experience. He thought he was smarter than everyone at the power plant. No, I was telling you that based on what I studied from the University of Bombay and offensive security and CompTIA and EC Council and all that bullshit that this power plant is being hacked. And Uncle Sam agreed with me after an extensive oper after, after an extensive um, 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 investigation. They actually fucking agreed with me and fined Honeywell fifteen million dollars. Then it turns out, then it turns out that the person who has been following me around and calling me and hanging up and yelling at me for being an Anglo lover and all that bullshit is actually Stephanie Wang, who I met at a party six, seven years ago, and now at this point. And they sent someone to her and Sublime to verify everything I've said. And it turned out that they were like, okay, he's not making it up. Because if I was making up anything, I wouldn't be starting this new job. It's that simple. I'm not going to go into the details. It's that simple. If I actually was anything malicious towards her, I would not be starting this new job. It's that simple. So I'm going to go finish studying and eat my food and all that bullshit because I got a pretty... Like I'm, 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 I'm pretty busy because I'm gonna go do crypto arbing and all that bullshit. All right, and again, I'm going to South Korea, not Ukraine, not Yugoslavia, South Korea, one of our best allies. Toto tot tot, all that bullshit. No one cares. No one cares. Okay, that's just toto tot tot. Okay, that's just little kitty bullshit. Adults understand how banking works and treaties work and how your know, adults do bullshit. I will go there. I will, I will, I will spray myself down with Febreze and all that bullshit before I go. I will have nothing illegal on me when I land. I promise. I will go through all the checks and balances. Kasamita. For a little bit, I'll have the AI thingy translating for me until I get used to it. I'm gonna do all the business things that I need to do. I will wait until I get verified, and then I'm coming back to America where I can legally totally smoke. And then I'm gonna be RBing from my phone and my laptops and my desktops and all that bullet from the cloud. Guarantee you from the blockchain soon. Anyways, so I got shit to do. All right, tot tot.